somehow on my Facebook keeps cutting off my video. So I was showing y'all with my hot tie and the last one and I was going to go show y'all the front of just the, in, the post of immortality so you can see how your actual fingers go. Uh, so I'll try to do this quick so hopefully it does not cut me off <laughs> like it did. So this is the pose of immortality. I'm going to do a front view so you can see how your hands go. So I'm going to start off in the moon position. And I'm going to go up to Tekken, bring my foot here, and I'm going to glide down. And you can also do this for my eye uh, pose as well. Bring the right elbow inside the knee, and the fingertips touch, right? And you spread the palm, curl the fingers, and place the thumb, okay? So that's how the pose of immortality looks. Uh, and then you come back around like that, all right? And you can come back up from this way. Back up. And I'm going to just turn around. Well, I'll do it the other way because I want y'all to see the back. So I'll do it back on this way again. So you can get a back view. Come down. Right? The arm, the elbow in front of the knee, fingertips, knee, spread fingers, roll, throw the thumb. Pull the thing with power. Exhale, gaze forward. Inhale, center. Exhale, gaze behind you. Inhale, Center, exhale, come back together, right? Palm center, right? And then up, without falling. But I was holding my breath. But that's how you would do the pose of immortality, okay? So, remember? Uh, and this takes practice because you have to be able that's why the test one and test two comes in handy doing this right the scribe position you're hitting your pressure points in your toes the sinuses nasal passage right but you're also when you realize your weight is on that foot, on those toes, you can see that that takes practice over time to be able to sit there a long time like that, okay? So, you sit there like this, and step number one and two, and then you come down on the door, so then even to sit like this, takes a little bit of practice as well. Because you're, you have all your weight on your foot. But I found that helps with the pose of immortality and doing the my eye pose, the goddess pose. Uh, it helps. So you want to at least practice that as well so that you can be able to sit in those two uh, poses, okay? So if you were going to do uh, the my eye pose, for root position, up to second. We're just going to place one. 
forward and to cop. So you can practice my eye, you can practice uh, the cop, you can practice the pose of immortality, uh, switching up those feet so that you can be balanced on both sides of the feet. Uh, remember when you do my octave, you, you want to repeat it three times. Uh, also, so I'm going to stop this one, and while I'm in here, we'll do a basic sun salutation. So watch the next slide, because if I keep this on too long, I don't want it to cut off in the middle of it, because then I'm going to be pissed. Okay. I'm going to be pissed at Facebook. So, and I'm not trying to be pissed. So, I'm going to stop this. Comedic Arts. Comedic Yoga, find me on uh, YouTube channel, on my Facebook official page, Comedic Arts, uh, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page as well. Uh, very knowledgeable information up there. This live will be up there, of course. Uh, and if you want to learn a little bit more comedic yoga, subscribe to my page, my YouTube channel. Okay? And I'll see y'all in a minute for doing uh, just a round of basic sun salutation. Why this sun is coming in on me, okay? I'm going to soak this up. Okay. So, then I'm probably going to be too tired to go walk on the treadmill because I did headstand earlier, catch that live Facebook of me practicing my goddess headstand using the mirror or you can use a wall as a prop. I do it by myself so I'm safe so I use a wall or the mirror because uh, I don't have nobody to kind of catch me from falling over and I'm not trying to throw my back but no back. Okay so I'm going to keep doing it against that mirror. Okay so, oh, and also with the headstand, remember you can use, if you can't do that one, I'm going to show you this one just before, and then I'll go to the basic sun salutation. You can also do the headstand like this. If you don't want to do the mirror or a wall in your house, get your yoga mat out and practice. I used to do this in like seconds. I couldn't even stay up a second uh, before falling. So I've gotten a little bit better even with this one, but just to try to get a headstand in, I would start off doing this one, okay? And I need to just kind of inch my foot up and move this one real slow, like so, and do this. And I used to be bouncing all over the place, couldn't talk while doing it. So, you can practice that at home as well uh, to help you kind of get the balance of your body and used to what your body weight is, uh, okay? So remember, be safe. Make sure nothing is not around so you don't go flopping over furniture and stuff because you panic. But that's just my way of, you know, getting it in. But as you see, it helps with the arms as well. So being able to sustain my own weight uh, like I said, my stomach muscles are weak, yeah, they're a little weak, but they're getting stronger, you know, three children, <laughs> what do you expect, okay, and plus I ain't used to do no work on the mat, so, and these are almost like, you know, 46 year old abs, okay, so, in April, my birthday is in April, 420, April 20th, but anyway, so, 
subscribe to my page, give a shout out, say hello, peace, love, and light, God is peace. Okay.